Hi everyone, it's Miss Cindy from the Shrewsbury Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cootie catcher, which is, this is what it will eventually look like. A cootie catcher you can use for um, telling fortunes, uh, doing some exercises, telling some jokes, getting to know people. So this is how it works. To get started, we need a piece of paper, like about eight and a half by 11. I'm going to put the paper on a flat surface. And then I'm going to, the goal is to make a square. So I'm going to fold the side up on the paper so it meets one end. So it's going to look like this. And then I'm going to cut this extra paper off and then I'll have a square. So here's that square I was talking about. Now you have the crease coming down this way. I want you to also turn the paper and fold it the other way. And line up the corners as best you can. So now we have the paper with lines going both ways. The first thing we're going to do is take this corner and bring the points folded so the points meet at the middle. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on all, all four sides. So I'm going to fold the next side. Meet at the center as carefully as you can. There's the second side. Okay, I'm going to do that third corner. Same thing. Meet at the top as carefully as you can. It almost looks like a, an envelope. Okay, I'm going to fold in that last corner. It's hard to get it perfect, but just do the best you can. Okay, so now we have a square with the four flaps folded over. We're going to turn it over, and now we're going to work on this side. So put your paper down. We're going to take this corner, fold it into the middle. Do the same thing for all four corners. Okay, that's my first side. Side two. Side. Two more to go. Okay, there's my little envelope look look alike again. Now for the fourth corner. Okay, so now we have a side with four flaps looking like this. And then the other side with four flaps that don't really open up like the other side is. And then I'm going to also just fold it in half just to make my seams a little better. Fold it in half. I'm going to do it again this way. Okay. Now we can start labeling our cootie catcher. 
so the side with the flaps don't really open well the four over here where I'm gonna call those by color so I'm gonna make one red I'm gonna spell it out R E T and I'm gonna make zero red now blue I think I'll make one yellow, yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W, and one green, G-R-E-E-N. So I wrote it, but you guys can color it if you want. Um, I wrote the letter so that I would know how to spell the colors because we're going to need to do that when we're using the cootie catcher okay and on the other side there's like each flap is almost like two so we're going to write the numbers one through eight on each of those flaps so let's get going uh, here's a here see i wrote a one on this one and I'm just going to go all the way around till I get to eight. And I don't think there's no um, rule about the order. You can mix them up if you want, but I just went one through eight. Okay, so then underneath of this is where you're going to write whatever you want. So I'm going to do a sports one. I did one already that I can show you. And on one flap, I wrote jog in place. I'm writing it right on the top end of the flap and I'll do another one jump as far as you can so you want to fill up those eight flaps with whatever you want to work on if you want to have a riddle or you want to have questions you can ask your friends or your family but I did a different kind of exercise on my flaps okay so that's then we're all done so we have all the numbers and our flaps filled out and we're gonna then turn it over so we see the colors and fold that in half one way and then in half the other way just to make our booty catcher a little easier to work with and then where the flaps are with the colors there's almost like little finger holes underneath here so you're gonna put these two fingers under mine is the green and yellow and I'm gonna put my two fingers under this one and I'm gonna kind of squeeze them together so we have something that looks like a little bit of a flower with just my color flaps on the top. And to play this game, I'm going to say, what color would you like? Green, yellow, or blue? And you want yellow? Okay. Y, we're going to spell out the color yellow. Y, E, L, L. O W, and then we have the numbers three, four, seven, or eight. Which number would you like? Okay, you want number four? Okay, we're going to do this four times. One, two, three, four, and now we have the numbers one two five or six 
You want to pick number five? Okay. We'll open it up. And number five says, hop on one foot as long as you can and then switch sides. So you get the idea. My favorite part of the cootie catcher is actually moving it back and forth. Almost like finger exercise in itself. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to make a cootie catcher. Good to see you all. Have a good day. We miss you. Bye.